Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this new tutorial on PyTorch. So in previous video, we started implementing position embeddings and we have a, a plotted a sine a wave or sine part of it. And uh, like we have uh, two parts. One is like uh, event positions are uh, sine waves and uh, odd positions are cosine waves. So we plotted uh, uh, three I values for uh, sine wave and we could do the same for uh, cosine wave as well so when we run the code it will plot uh, sine wave for three i values uh, two four and six and we have seen like uh, the amplitude uh, keeps increasing as the value of i increases um in this video we will finalize the implementation like uh, the typical uh, that is used in a transformer model and also we will check uh, three important properties of it one is whether the relative position property holds. Uh, the second one is uh, if the relative position property holds after a linear transformation. And the third one is like uh, only initial few position in position embeddings are important. Okay, so let us dive in and first uh, complete our implementation. So in general, the word embedding uh, of any transform model, especially the base model is 512 and the uh, Position embedding should be of the same dimension because we need to sum them up uh, to generate the uh, final uh, embeddings. So we will use uh, uh, dimensionality of the model 512 and instead of using value one or two values, we will use all i's. Okay, all i's means for i in range. We'll simply say dimensionality of the model. So each position should uh, extract uh, position embeddings in the same dimension as we have the word embedding. So that's why we run all uh, i's from ranging 0 to dimensionality of the model. And we need to handle a special case where uh, we keep the dimension 0 for padding token. And so it is a uh, very important note here. Uh, each and every padding should be uh, used as a zero, not any other like minus ninety nine or something like that. It should be zero because uh, it 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 depends on like where we are keeping. But in general, it kept in uh, zeroth position, so that's why it is uh, important to use that uh, zeroth position as a padding token. Um. So how uh, do we do it? We simply check here if position is not equal to zero then we run this for loop else we simply say numpy dot zeros and we generate a simple um dimensionality of the model a zero vector that will be added to that okay so we used like a for loop comprehension so now make it a bit uh, easier or more uh, readable so here we are saying like if position is not equal to zero, run this for loop and uh, get all the embeddings other than zero. And for zeroth position, uh, just create a simple uh, zero, all zero uh, uh, vector that will be of the same dimension as the uh, position embedding dimension. Okay. So we can simply do it a bit more nicer way. Let us delete it. Now let us make it uh, like um, uh, generate sine and cosine values. So what we will do is we simply take, uh, so let us correct this as well. So we'll simply use a slicing. So what we will do is, and uh, we will start with one. So we uh, ignored this uh, zero with uh, position. And we simply start with zero with indexing two. And we simply call np dot sign, and we will do the same thing here as well. So we'll simply copy this and paste here. So here, what we are doing is we starting from uh, the first position. We are uh, ignoring this uh, all zero vector. Like uh, in this uh, in this uh, new uh, slice, we are starting from zero and then going from uh, plus two, plus two, plus two, and so on. Okay. And that's uh, how we get, so we are doing is two i's, okay? 
and for cosine we simply start from 1 and again jump with uh, plus 2 so this is 2i plus 1 okay so we have generated uh, sine and cosine values in position embedding as well so this is our actual position embedding that we need uh, uh, to to use okay so now let us uh, uh, factor some of them so let us say x is equal to position let us uh, generate the position so let us say np dot uh, range and 0 to max positions okay and now we can say embedding of this segment so it has like uh, uh, 0 to 100 samples so the sequence length is 100 and now if we sample it we will simply call position embedding and x and that will give us embedding for this sequence so let us print the embedding shape it should be like 100 cross 512 so let us do that print embedding dot shape so it should be 100 positions cross 512 so let us run and see it so you see we have 100 cross 512 dimension now let us uh, look at uh, some of the properties so the first one is relative position properties so this property tells us like uh, the two positions which are closer should have a uh, cosine distance less and two positions which are distant it should have a uh, cosine distance higher so let us uh, check that so let us generate position one is equal to position encoding so let us say this is uh, one and let us say we want position two and let us say we want position 10. okay now let us simply print the cosine distance so we will use uh, this uh, cosine uh, distance from uh, scipy and it will give us uh, so let us do so it will give us a distance between two vectors so we will first compute distance between position one and position two and also let us compute position one versus position 10. so the expected behavior should be like the distance between these two position one and position two should be lower compared to position one and position two that's what uh, the property should be so let us run and see it here you can see like the position uh, the distance between position 1 and 2 is uh, like 0 0.01 whereas position 1 and 10 is like uh, 0.81 okay so it it is like kind of uh, 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 similar as we were expecting next let us look at uh, uh, like uh, the second property where when we pass it through a linear transformation this relative position uh, property should hold as well so for that let's let us simply implement a linear model so let us say class check linear property and we will simply extend n n module And then dot module and uh, we define in it and what we need is uh, in feature and out feature okay and we need to call super as well and we simply define self dot model is equal to and then dot linear in features out features and let us define our forward method which will accept our input and it will return self dot 
model. So this input would be a NumPy array. So we need to convert it into tensor. Dodge dot tensor input. And let us use the type is equal to dodge dot two. And to uh, visualize it or to compute the distance, it should be uh, deattached. And that's all. So let us pass the embeddings through linear transformation and then compute the uh, compute the distance again. So let us do that. So we will pass through. Let us call p1 is equal to. Let us actually create first uh, l linear model is equal to check. And in feature should be 512. And out feature should be 512. Now let us say p1 is equal to lm and let us pass position 1. Let us do the same thing for position 2 and position 10. Okay. Now let us simply compute the distance between these now. So in 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 theory it should be the same as here after passing through the linear transformation as well so we will call it p1 p2 and p1 p10 okay so let us run and see it you see it is still holds like the position uh, the distance between position 1 and 2 is uh, 0.019 whereas the position uh, 1 and 10 is having distance like 0.75 so it is similar when we run it before the transformation as well as after the transformation and now the last property is like uh, not all the positions are important for position embedding so like we have 512 only initial few of them are important so let us plot it and see if that property also holds so let us what we will do is we will simply uh, create positions so let us say let us call input sequence is equal to np dot range 0 to max position let us say we want to generate 100 positions and now let us uh, create embeddings is equal to position embeddings and let us say input sequence okay so this is a one input sequence which we have the embedding okay embedding let us say sequence okay so we'll use simply color mesh to plot the embedding so let us do that so first let us set the uh, size of the figure so let us say figure and let us call figure size is equal to let us say it's the uh, 10 cross 8 and now let us plot plot dot the color mess we simply pass embeddings okay and now let us simply uh, plot dot so so let us first look at the uh, like a raw uh, plot and then we will add uh, more attributes as well so let us run and see it so here you can see like from uh, let us maximize it so here you can see like from 0 to 100 it is like uh, positions and this is 0 to 500 this is like uh, um, position uh, embeddings like uh, Zero, embed, zero dimension to uh, 512 dimension. So here you can see like around uh, 150 dimensions only are important and remaining are like uh, very plain colors. Okay. So um, um, let us uh, let us uh, make it a bit more uh, 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 beautiful. So we will use uh, plt dot let us say um, x label is 
position embeddings and let us say it y label is equal to token position okay now let us add a uh, few more things so let us add x limit and it is like x we are saying it's zero to max zero to dimensionality of the model and let us reverse the y limit okay so that now it will be like uh, starting from max positions to zero and dot so let us uh, show the color bar what it looks like and that's all so now we will look at it it will be quite uh, better so let us see you see it looks now much better so the most important factor here to see is like uh, after like around 150 uh, dimensions it is like uh, simple uh, it is there is no difference okay so like initial we can see initial 150 dimensions are only important in position embedding that can discriminate uh, all the positions that we have okay so that's why when we uh, add it with the word embedding so in theory what will happen is as the position embeddings are added with word embeddings and word embeddings are trained so in word embedding initial few like to say 150 uh, dimensions would be zero the word embedding what it will run then this added uh, position embeddings will be only factor there okay so it won't uh, affect uh, the word embedding as well as word embedding won't affect the position embedding so i hope that is clear like uh, uh, um, what position embeddings are and what are the property it uh, has and uh, why the proposed uh, method is kind of very uh, elegant in a sense like it holds uh, the properties required for the position embedding so we will be on break for next couple of weeks for Christmas as well as uh, New Year. And afterwards, uh, we will start again with uh, uh, subsequent masking. So, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Take care. See you in the next.